boost for Biafrans as foreign group agrees to provide weapons for IPOP personnel. The indigenous people of Biafra IPOP and the Amazonians Governing Council, a pro-independence movement in Western Cameroon, have agreed to trade weapons and personnel to enable them accomplish their common aim of freedom. IPOP, which was founded in 2012 by Mazen and the Kano, has long criticized the Nigerian government for its lack of investment in equitable resource distribution, marginalization, and heavy military presence in the region. As a result, the organization asked that Biafran be restored as an independent state in the southeast through an independent referendum. The Amazonian, for its part, is fighting to create a breakaway state called Amazonian out of Cameroon's English-speaking northwest and southwest areas. Anglophone Cameroonians have had grievances since the region gained independence from the United Kingdom in 1961. The scope of the allegiance will include joint operation and training bases. Capo Daniel, the deputy defense chief of the Amazonian Defense Forces, the military branch of the Amazonian Governing Council said in an article in Foreign Policy, an American news journal. Representatives from both the Amazonian and IPOP movement claimed the parties will work to secure their shared border and ensure an open exchange of weapons and personnel. It's true, Emma Powerful responded when contacted for comment. Day by day, we are getting bigger. We need to fortify ourselves. Those who make peaceful protest impossible, we only make violence revolution inevitable. Is it right for IPOP to acquire weapons? My viewers, you see, IPOP is getting um, collaborated and, you know, conjuncted with other mili military force because of the confidence that they have in IPOP. See, let me tell you something. First and foremost, I want to make a correction. IPOP is not, um, it's not uh, a, arm, a armed group. Do you understand? IPOP is not an armed group. IPOP is an armless group. Do you understand? The security force of IPOP is the force that was armed, but they don't they don't use their arm to go after the innocent. They go after the criminals. In fact, they are out because of the criminals, because of the Boko people. That is why they they, they got themselves armed. Because they can they can't be in the forest unarmed. It's risky. You understand? And that is just it. Okay, now you look at the people that are now, you know, getting themselves attached to IPOP. Have you asked yourself why? Why? Why is it that people, uh, groups are now getting themselves attached to IPOP? Eh? Have you asked yourself why? I thought they said that IPOP is a... Uh, is uh, is 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 uh, is a group that is uh, that 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 is made up of, uh, of 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 miscreants, killers, and what have you. Now, why are groups trying and um, you know working assiduously to get themselves attached with that same Eastern Security Network that they are criticizing? My dear viewers. What is good is good. Do you understand? Eastern Security Network is a force set up to go after the criminal headsmen. 
Do you understand? And their their purpose of coming out is already clearly defined. It's clearly defined. The Amazonians that you see that are clinching and also forcing themselves on the on the on the security outfit knows the capability of the Eastern Security Network, their their their, their role and their functions. They, though they though they, they too are working assiduously to break away from the Cameroon of a truth. But before they thought of it that let's get ourselves attached to the triple, they have done their own findings too. You understand? They have done their findings. So I want us to begin to see Eastern Security Network in this angle and also in this way and stop, you know, this false uh, uh, criticism because this false criticism, I tell you, has, has been, you know, misleading us, misleading a lot of people and making a lot of people to have bad thoughts and ideas about Eastern Security Network, which is not true. Okay, look at what is happening in Imo. In fact, in Southeast as a whole, Despite the attitude put up by our Nigerian army, Eastern Security Network to this very moment are still they, 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 they still refuse to work to retaliate. Instead, they still remain in the forest. They still remain in the forest. You see? So I tell you that these guys they are only out for the full and men. They're only out for the Fulani X-Men. And why is it that it is it 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 it's always our Nigerian army that always take war to the Eastern Security Network? And in the process of taking the war to the Eastern Security Network, they end up being killed. And after the the Nigerian army end up being killed, they start putting the blame. On the on, 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 on the security outfit. Who sent them? Look at the attitude they put up in rivers. They raided uh, 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 one of the forests in, in rivers and get themselves in a, in a sporadic shooting with the Eastern Security Network, whereby three soldiers dropped dead at the spot. Now they are putting it on iPod. Who, who, who asked them to go there? Who invited them? Nobody. So this group, in fact, you'll be surprised that more than more, more than more than this uh, 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 more than this uh, 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 group, the, the people that have just attached themselves to 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 to, uh, to Eastern Security Network are the Ambazonians militants. Isn't also, you will see more group that will still apply we not of, of recent we also have the british cameroon militants also showing interest <laughs> my dear viewers let us not just talk much the security outfit is known for their integrity